right, what is up, guys? It is JR, and today is today is Wednesday, the 18th of January, 2017, and we're going to see if we can go ahead and get long right here, and I will explain that in just one second. I wasn't too convinced that this was going to fail, so I didn't just put a stop there when it did fail. But then after this big bullish bar, I'm pretty convinced that this is going to fail and we have a nice trap right here. But I don't know if I want to enter up top here at the stop because it's really close to those double um, to this double top or we can actually call it a triple top. But it's really close to these highs. It's really close to those highs. And I don't want to get left behind. So I'm actually just going to. OK, good. We got filled right there. It scooted that limit order up by one tick. But. Let me go ahead and put my stop in there one tick beneath that swing. So basically what we have right here is we have a failed second entry short. You get your first attempt to go lower right there, your second attempt to go lower right there in conjunction with a second entry long. And this is a good trap right here. As you can see, we haven't even been in this trade for what, 30 seconds and we're already one tick off of our exit. So we should push through here and hopefully push through there and hopefully get our runner. So <clears throat> sorry if my voice sounds like dry and everything. I, I overslept this morning, woke up a tad bit late and um, still not completely awake yet. And you can probably hear that in my voice. So yeah, if I'd entered on a stop, I would have been out by now, but it's all good. We should definitely still get this. <clears throat> Excuse me. And um, Yeah, we had a short term uptrend working up like that. Hopefully this isn't the break in the new high, but usually you get two legs. So I'm thinking we should get another push on up to get that get that um, get that order filled in a second. So this is a nice trade. This is a nice little trap right there. I like that. These ticks have kind of stalled right now, but um, I don't think this is going to flip on us, but I just want to see those ticks moving a bit faster when we push through up through this, but and this is also, if you kind of notice, this is a, a tad area of congestion. So this is kind of like a failed break lower and then you kind of fade the breakout and take it to the upside. So this is a this is a nice setup. Second entry long, your first entry right here, second entry right there, right off the EMA. Uh, combined with a failed second entry short, you get your first entry short right there. Pull back your second entry short right there. And um, yeah, nice big bullish bar right after that. And all I did was I dropped a limit order, I think one tick higher than the initial failed second entry entrance and it went ahead and worked out for me. So hopefully we get this pop right now because I'm trying to keep these videos under 10 minutes because I noticed that, well, I know personally for myself, I, I don't really like watching anything that's longer than 10, 15 minutes. And there's only so much you can say when talking about these trades and the trades that did occur. So I like to keep it short, sweet, simple, directly to the point and um, yeah, we should get filled in a second. But I don't know how many of you all have seen some of my older videos. I'll bounce off the order and say, oh, we should get filled in like the next 20 seconds. And then the video goes on for another 20 minutes because it friggin reverses, chops around and then gets me filled. But yeah, I'm thinking this is a decent trap right here. So we should push on up through this and, and take those stops in a second. So and depending on how this bar closes, I might just pause it and then come back once we get a nice, better looking bar. I guess in the meantime, let me go over the trades that were here today. So like I said, I overslept. I didn't get on until around about mm, a little more than an hour ago. No, yeah, about about an hour ago. So I think I got up at like 10, 20, 10, 30 a.m. Eastern time. But when I came in, I think we were right here. We were forming this bar. So that's like 10, 28, something like that. But pretty much 
First trade that I see is this short right here. This is a failed second entry long. Oh my gosh. Of course this went and closed like that. But yeah, this is a failed second entry long. If you notice, um, it has the makings of a range there. We trade up, then we trade down, then we trade back up, and then we trade down again. So you have your lower high right here. You push straight through that EMA, you pull back, you get a failed second entry. Um, it doesn't quite touch the EMA, but when you get that strong of a bullish, uh, of a bearish bar, and it's a failed second entry after pushing through the EMA like that, I think you want to go short there. The only thing is, is it's right down into the low. Um, it could have bounced, but I still think it's a, I think it's worth risking on that one. And as you can see, it would have turned out to be quite a nice trade. There's possibly a long right here. I personally don't like, uh, I don't like those trades where you anticipate the lows and the highs because it seems a bit risky to me and I don't have too much experience in picking those. So this might be a long, I don't like it. Um, I'm not going to go into detail about it because I'm not that experienced in telling you how to go about gauging it. But if you do notice, you're pretty far away from the EMA. It's a relatively bullish bar. Um, ideally, you want to wait for the lower high. I mean, the higher low, which you don't get it in this scenario. So, yeah, I don't know about this one. But you can push up, just kind of chop around right there. There's a failed second entry short right here. I don't think you would have wanted to take that because if you notice, you're going sideways at that point and you would have had to get long in the middle of your range or if you got long above this bullish bar, you would have been getting long right into pretty strong resistance at that point. And as you can see, it would have turned around and stopped you out. So just be cognizant of that. But you get a nice breakout pullback long right here. So this is a nice trade that I would have liked if I'd been here. It's, it's a good looking one. You get one leg up, a break of this trend line, you kind of chop around, you break out of the top of your range, pull back right back to the EMA, relatively bullish bar. Go ahead and go long right there, and that would have been a nice trade. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't know if you would have wanted to take this lower high. I didn't like it because it was right back into the EMA, so I wasn't completely convinced about that one. So I think you should skip that one. Then again, you never know. But it would have been a good trade. It pushes on down, and then you get a failed second entry long right here. And um, I didn't like this one because if you notice, there's a lot of buying that occurs right here. So uh, I wasn't completely convinced that we were going to flip at that point because when you see a big bar like this, you can't really ignore it. And I figured that it could be a trap, which essentially it is a trap, although the trap didn't trigger until down here. But as you can see, if you would have entered short, you would have been, yeah, you would have been stopped out by now. So, and if you'd put it one tick above, You'd put it one tick above your signal bar. Yeah, you would have been stopped out. So yeah, you would have been stopped out. All right, so we got that first target out. That was a nice trade. Let me go ahead and actually mark these trades, and we're just gonna go ahead and move this to break even plus one. Let me mark these trades really quickly. Long right there. Long right. This is really your signal bar, so we'll say that's the signal bar. And just remember on these traps, it doesn't really matter what your signal bar looks like because it's a trap. When you're taking second entries and lower highs, that's typically when you want to see a better signal bar. But on these traps, it doesn't particularly matter so much what your signal bar looks like because the whole idea is that it's fooling people into entering into the wrong direction. So just kind of keep that in mind. Um, yeah, there's another trade. And then there's a short right there, possibly. So a debatable one right here, but that's right into the EMA. And I didn't like that. And I also had the trend line drawn like this. So, all right, we just got stopped out on that second contract. But I also had the trend line drawn like this. So I didn't like going long here because that's a first entry. And if you had entered on a stop, it would have worked, but it would have reversed on you. Yeah, it would have been in at 64.50, and you would have gotten up to 65.75, so just enough to get out. But didn't like that when it's a first entry, and 
yeah, I didn't like shorting this right here because like I said, you have the EMA and you have this possible trend line. Wasn't completely sure about it because we weren't getting that many touches, but you still need to be aware that it could possibly be there and people could respect it. But yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all I have to say for today. I just want to thank you guys for all the, the nice comments. I really appreciate hearing that you guys are in fact enjoying this stuff. It makes it worth the while. And uh, yeah, just let me know if there's anything that you guys want to see in particular, any way that I could potentially improve these trades. And um, yeah, just thank you guys for your support. I've gotten a lot of new subscribers recently, a lot of good feedback, a lot of good comments. And um, it's just nice to see that you guys actually do appreciate this stuff and that you, um, you like it. Uh, that makes me happy because I, I like doing it. Um, I like I, I like doing it. So yeah, I'll definitely keep these videos coming. So that's it for today. Once again, this is JR and I will see you guys next time.